Our guest today, Yafi Kohn, is Vice President, Chief Sustainability Officer, and Group General Counsel at the Travelers Companies in New York City. Yafi, before that, worked at a pair of law firms, and she's one of those people when I first met, you, I immediately knew, like, this person is going somewhere. She's a very special person, and she's helped travelers do some very special things in the ENS space. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. So yeah, I think Travelers has the best in class sustainability webpage, sustainability report. So what advice would you give companies that don't have the resources perhaps that a big company like Travelers has that you've described in the other big guides that we've made together, links to those are beneath this video. So first, I would just assure everyone that I do not think every company needs to go through the process that we went through. There are other less time consuming ways to identify the handful of ESG issues that are most relevant to the company's business strategy and are most linked to the company's economic sustainability. And that's where I think companies should start with their reporting. Um, so a few ideas on that front. For companies that are more resource constrained, even if they're not ready to provide reporting aligned with the SASB standards, I would recommend referring to what SASB calls its materiality map, which identifies sustainability issues likely to have relevance for each industry. And of course, the company's management is still in the best position to make the determination of what issues to focus on, but I think that's a good place to start. Another way I think to hone in on the company's ESG priorities is to take a look at what ESG oriented issues have been on the board's recent agendas. Which issues are already part of the company's business plan? Which ESG related issues are already embedded within the company's enterprise risk management program? And any one of those things could be an indication that the issue is linked to the business and its ability to create sustained shareholder value. And I would also add that many companies, of course, are already conducting off-season engagements with large institutional investors. So while they're speaking with those investors, it really doesn't take much to also get their thoughts on the ESG issues they think a company in that industry would probably want to include in its sustainability reporting. So all in all, I think companies can definitely start small. They don't have to bite off as much as we did in our first year. But I think it is important to start somewhere with the ESG factors most relevant to the company's industry and business. And the company can always build on its reporting from there. Yeah, you have to start somewhere. Um, and sometimes you have the resources and sometimes you don't. But even if you don't have all of that, you, you never have all of that you want, but you have what you have and you go from there. So sage advice. Thank you so much, Sophie. My pleasure. Thank you, Brock. <laughs>